Hello everyone welcome back to my channel Senila Glam Tips. Today I am going to to share some amazing tips on how to get long and healthy hairs. If you are new here please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. As you all know hair growth depends on many factors such as genetics, diet, lifestyle and hair care routine but there are also natural ways to boost your hair growth and prevent hair loss. 1. Balanced Diet Consume a diet rich in vitamins and minerals, including biotin, vitamin E, and omega-3 fatty acids. Foods like fish, nuts, seeds, and vegetables support hair health. 2. Hydration Drink plenty of water to keep your body and hair hydrated. Hydration is crucial for maintaining hair elasticity and preventing breakage. 3. Scalp Massage Regularly massage your scalp to stimulate blood circulation. This helps nourish hair follicles and encourages healthy hair growth. 4. Gentle Hair Care Use a mild, sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. Overwashing can strip natural oils, so find a balance that suits your hair type. 5. Avoid Heat Damage Minimize the use of hot styling tools like straighteners and curling irons. If you must use them, use a heat protectant spray. 6. Natural Oils Apply natural oils like coconut oil, argan oil, or olive oil to your hair and scalp. These oils can help moisturize, strengthen, and protect your hair. 7. Proper Hair Drying Pat your hair dry with a soft towel instead of rubbing vigorously. Air dry when possible to reduce heat exposure. 8. Regular trim trim your hair regularly to get rid of split ends, promoting healthier hair growth. 9. Avoid tight hairstyles. Tight hairstyles, like ponytails or braids, can cause stress on your hair and lead to breakage. Opt for looser styles. 10. Manage stress. Stress can contribute to hair loss. Practice stress reducing activities such as meditation, yoga, or deep breathing. Remember, Hair growth is a gradual process, and consistency in a healthy hair care routine is key. If you have specific concerns, consulting with a healthcare professional or dermatologist is advisable.